we're studying some sea ice that we collected last fall in the Antarctic, and we're looking for the presence of bromide in the sea ice microstructure. If you look closely at this sample, you can see some uh, vertical features inside. Those are brine channels, so those are little pockets that are full of extra salty water. Um, and it's the brine channels primarily that contain the bromide that we're looking at. Bromide is just one of the many salts in sea ice, but it happens to be the one that's reactive with ozone. What we're interested in is how the bromide gets through the sea ice and into the lower atmosphere called the boundary layer. There are a number of groups that are doing climate modeling, and the climate models um, include a look at bromine concentrations worldwide. Now, they've seen um, de sudden depletion episodes in bromine in the polar spring times, and they're trying to understand why those are and what that means for global circulation. And we're looking at uh, how the bromide, which is naturally in the seawater, comes up through the brine channels in the sea ice and um, gets onto the surface and then we believe is picked up by blowing snow and lofted into the lower atmosphere. And in the course of doing so, it depletes the ozone, which is O3, um, causing actual uh, dips in ozone level regionally. We can't do this kind of research at home because we don't have this high a power um, x-ray source. APS provides a very high energy source and a very fine beam, so we're able to map the location of bromide at very fine resolution in our samples. 